This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Fallen Rise of Reginald Perrin is among the best sitcoms ever. Do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. John Barron played the character CJ in the sitcom when he was 56 in 1976. Sadly, on July 3, 2004, he left us due to a stroke at 83 in Watford, Hertfordshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. That's my motto, that's my axiom, that's the way I look at things. Uh, yes, CJ, I wonder, CJ, while I was what here... What surprise you to learn, Reggie, that overall sales in April across the whole... <laughs> I didn't want to get there too early. The early bird catches a cold. Absolutely, CJ. Not that I'm expecting anything. Jeffrey Palmer played the character Jimmy Anderson in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1976. Sadly, on November 5, 2020, he left us due to a brief illness at 93 in Lee Common, Buckinghamshire, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Good mystery. Well, I found out something about Martin tonight. He's not the monster of the Piccadilly line. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm called for. Well, you know... And it really has, I think, worked wonderfully. This combination of well-known yeah. voices, great poems, beautiful music, very discreetly underneath. And I think the whole... Glyn Edwards played the character Mr. Pelham in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1977. Sadly, on May 23, 2018, he left us due to natural causes at 87 in Edinburgh, Scotland. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Are you? Uh, are your full name is Reginald Ilanthi Perrin? You worked at Sunshine Desserts, you left your clothes on the beach, came back in disguise and married your wife again. Camera. Until I was nearly 30. Right. And the first thing I did on television was um, extracts from things that were, the show was being quite hit, things they might be. Leonard Rossiter played the character Reginald Perrin in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1976. Sadly, on October 5, 1984, he left us due to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy at 57 at the Reserve Theatre, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Wait, are, we, uh, are we going to go over and see the hippopotamus on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> I said, are we going to uh, go over and see the... Uh... ...they're presented with. They play it as well as they can and they don't distort the author's ideas. That is the fatal if however great the actor, whether it is. Sue Nichols played the character John Greengross in the sitcom when she was 33 years old in 1976. See, at 80 years old, she's living of a failing life with a passion right here in Staffordshire, England. Naked from minute hand of Big Ben. I'm only a three-peg man, he cried. <laughs> David Harris-Jones and Tony Webster are coming in any minute to discuss the uh, trial sales areas of exotic... It's ridiculous. I was paid for all those scenes. You know? <laughs> I am just gobsmacked. And in fact, for the last three weeks, when I knew that maybe I had... John Blackham played the character Miss Aerith in the sitcom when she was 31 in 1977. Sadly, on September 6, 2020, she left us due to a stroke at 74 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Thank you. Just for once, let your bloody hair down. <laughs> you quite sure, Miss Aerith? Thank you, no, I'm on a diet. All right. The, the shocks and changes and sudden surprises that uh, Pat experiences and the influence she has over the other two characters. Pauline Yates played the character Elizabeth Perrin in the sitcom when she was 47 in 1976. Sadly, on January 21st, 2015, she passed away of natural causes at 85 in Northwood, London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Linda, that bearded wonder of a husband of hers and those damn children. Reggie, for shame. You'll have a lovely time. You'll see. As usual, well meant. As usual, do shut up. Dignity, <laughs> Jimmy. Dignity. I think that's eminently fair, Miss Hackstraw. Well, I Bruce Bolt played the character David Harris Jones in the sitcom when he was 27 in 1976. See, at 74 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Bradford, UK. Information 
information fed to it from our market research preliminary breakdown survey. <laughs> Great. Super. Oh, I see, yes. My area takes in all the new towns in a sort of wedge. Leslie Schofield played the character Tom in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1978. See, at 85 years old, he is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Lancashire, England. He doesn't know one end of a cricket racket from the other. <laughs> so I know that. It was a joke. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm... Sally Jane Spencer played the character Linda Patterson in the sitcom when she was 28 in 1976. See, at 75 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Buckinghamshire, UK. You can even fool all the people all the time, but you can't fool a wife. Well, I do think you might have told them all before tonight. Oh, I'm not going to tell them tonight. Well, when are you going to tell them? Joseph Brady played the character McBlain in the sitcom when he was 50 years old in 1978. Sadly, on June 12, 2001, he left us due to a stroke at 72 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Off you muckle for gang. Do you care which scragglers you think? What's for lunch today, incidentally? If we play a slaggly off us. Trevor Adams played the character Tony Webster in the sitcom when he was 30 years old in 1976. Sadly, on December 15, 2000, he left us due to cancer at 54 in North Walsham, UK. We are deeply saddened by his passing. I'll deal with this. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, CJ. You both handled this very well. Great. Super. John Horsley played the character Doc Morrissey in the sitcom when he was 56 in 1976. Sadly, on January 12, 2014, he left us due to natural causes at 93 in Northwood, Middlesex, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Oh, it's just a joke. Uh, Put the patients at their ease. Uh, I see. <laughs> I've been polishing up on psychology. <laughs> yes, while I've been on the dole. <laughs> okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in the Fallen Rise of Reginald Perrin? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.